Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J Okerson. All the way. Right now, it only feels like all the way across the room, but all the way across the country in the beautiful L.A. studios. Beautiful. Cool. I'm talking to you, New York cool. studios. Get your shit New together. York, New, York, New York studios, you are on notice. What the? F- Dude, it's fucking crazy how nice these studios are. You know that are. sexy voice, everyone. It's Dan Soder. Dan hey. Soder. What's up, buddy? Um, I miss you. I hate this. Lot- in in Los Angeles, I don't like being away from you. I don't like this. I can't look but at you and not touch you. <laughs> we're London bridging the uh, entire country. <laughs> I understand what Christine means when she tells me that now. I can't just look at you and not touch you. Oh, I yell at her for touching you a lot. I reach out and want to touch you. If we try, that's like a horror movie to you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> angry lumberjack. Uh, they, he, d- dude, it. walking I'm into these studios. Thing. I'm trying out a new thing. I love it. I'm going on Legion of Skanks tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, dude. We, well, we were talking about it this weekend. It's it's a it's a point that you made that I think is very true, which is well, guys not, can't. Should we get into that first? Right I away. I mean, what, dude, that's it's the whole show. Stuff. We'll talk. Well, listen, I'll start. So, no, we got studio. Go I just everyone's. sent you. A, Sorry, we have to go through everybody's Thanksgiving for sure. D- deal. But I just sent you a video of the new studios just to finish on the new LA studios. Oh, I said yeah. this off air. But this feels like you stopped by your friend's apartment who used to live in public housing. And then that's how bad the old studios were. It, I worked at a college radio station with better studios. Yeah, it was terrible. Even where they put like it their, was fucking their crazy. star, Jason Ellis, out there was in a fucking shoebox. Yeah. And then to walk into the new studios in L.A., you're like, hey, I think uh, my friend's mom married a rich guy because this is crazy. I'm telling you, you got to have Kevin walk you down and show you the... The uh, studios. What is it called? They call it the garage. Yeah. Unbelievable. Jay. Yeah. Watch the video I sent the whole crew of the whiteout screens that are in the studio. It hasn't. Which you can. Okay. You can turn the windows from see through to like that uh, fog. Only a few touch of a button. Only a few of them. Only a few. I don't know, but not all of them. No, but that's a cool feature when it works. Dude, it is like, fucking oh, so cool. Ari's going dick out. Yep. And, uh, but you know what? What's better for show is Jacob running to hide the windows. Oh, my God. That was the funniest part. That was one of the hardest I've ever laughed was when Christine and Jacob were like, Ari, no. And Jacob's, yeah, and Jacob's just trying to hold up anything that would block the windows from Ari pressed hamming everyone in the hallway. Ah! Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah that was. Uh, uh, Jacob scrambling to get there is just one of my favorite memories. Um, how was your How was your Thanksgiving? I was, yeah, before we get into all that, because I, I do want to talk about what you were saying about the look swaps. Oh, I mean, we were talking about yeah, we we're talking but about we, the uh, on the but yeah, but I do want to recap since we haven't seen everybody uh, in a couple days. How everyone's Thanksgiving was. Uh, Black Lou's welcome Jacob. back in the studio now, and I want to say to Black Lou first and foremost that his Thanksgiving information that he has given me pulled through on big time on me on a, on a set this weekend. I did at the stand. I really? was talking to. Uh, uh, a couple, I think it was an interracial couple. Were they interracial? Yeah, I think it was an interracial couple. And I said, "You go? Did you go to uh, Black Thanksgiving or White Thanksgiving this year?" Or I asked if we did it together. They said yes. I said, "Did you do White or Black?" And they said, "We went to my family. It's the black dude." And I go, "It's a little different, isn't it, sweetie?" I'm like, "It's a bunch of odd foods you weren't expecting. Fucking DJ." And the crowd went, "Oh, look, they got weird about that." And I go, "What are you awing?" I tell you, there's a good chance this guy had a DJ at Thanksgiving. And I go, sir. And he goes, there was a DJ. <laughs> I go, Hell yeah. Black Thanksgiving, dude. Yeah. yeah. Black white, Thanksgiving white people, best. White people are too cheap. for. We're just like, no, I don't want a DJ. Why would I need that? You're already playing black Christmas music setting, and shit. Yeah, it would just be Mariah Carey over and over again. Yeah. Not a black loose Thanksgiving. Just hear those sleigh bells ring a Jing, 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 jingling, oh, dude. You get... You get you get classic Christmas hits from Run DMC, Bell Biv DeVoe. <laughs> Bell Biv people DeVoe. forget people forget Boys the Men did a Christmas album. <laughs> I didn't remember that, but did Bell Biv DeVoe drop any Christmas love? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just threw that out there. Do bands that do off type Christmas song when they're at the end and love it's just it. a cash grab? <laughs> Man, those are some I think, funny ones. I think today should be that should be all our rejoin music is fucking bad. Uh, celebrities going after Christmas songs, Not like, like like rock stars. There's got to be. Oh, Christine yeah. will be able to look that up pretty <laughs> easily. Just rock stars that have. I mean, there's no, ob- there's the obvious like Twisted Sister has got the one. No, but, but 
some of those are like I'm doing Christmas music for heroin kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like for I sure. need money. I need money to to shoot it into my veins. I'm sure uh, Kiss has some sort of a Christmas album. Oh, hear yeah, those Kiss sleigh this. bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling. It's, like, yeah. like, so, uh, it's such fucking dumb music. It's like day evil. It's like what we're talking about. It's yeah. like Christmas joy with fucking metal. Right, being you like, don't hear Slayer kicking Hello! out like... Are you guys ready for a tasty holiday treat? I saw mommy sucking Santa Claus. Yes. You've heard of Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comedy Cupid and Part the <laughs> One, Three, Oh, Oh! Nobody remembers Stitch, because he was oh. an outlier. <laughs> yeah, man, it's fucking hilarious. Stitch sounds like a reindeer with an eye scar. <laughs> That's Stitch. Don't get in that Stitch's was San- way. Sa- he was the first reindeer that Santa captured. <laughs> yeah. And then cast him out like Judas. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. You're ugly and broken, Stitch. There's some religious not there is correcting whatever. It's not Judas. It was Satan, right? But his name was Who's Satan? Satan. Lucifer? Lucifer. The angel that he cast down, his first angel, then he cast him down the hell. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. This Christmas, have an evil Christmas. He's got a sack. Seven Dust, Hate Breed, Power Man 5000. <laughs> All of the classics on this year's Twisted Christmas. Make a card for your mother. Yeah. I bring my job to you. <laughs> <laughs> Partridge in a pear tree. Um, you know, no, wait, did Jacob, we, were I, you alone for Thanksgiving? Wait, before we even get to Jacob's Thanksgiving, which I do want to get to, have we talked on sure. air at all about the concert we went to, buddy? Which one? Tool? Yeah. Tool? Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it on air? Yeah, Joe DeRosa was in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was pretty excited for it. No, no, we talked about going beforehand, right? No, we did we the next day. Yeah, we did. You're right. We did do a recap. Jacob said it was one of the best concerts you ever seen. Dan, you were sorely missed. Sorely oh, man, missed. That just feels like you were bringing that up to rub it in my face. I was. I didn't really <laughs> remember if we if we recap. You guys want to talk about that right. thing Dan wasn't there for? Did we talk about that? Let's just. Jacob said it's the moment that he realized he was a full person. It, I'll tell you what. <laughs> several days later, with no with no prompting, he just goes once again, Jay. Wow, what a show. It was really a great show. Uh, it was really funny because I've, I think I said this on the show, but everyone, you know, Maynard doesn't let anyone use their phones. And so I was just jealous. But then all of a sudden on social media, everyone started putting up videos of Stink Fist. And I didn't yeah. think, I didn't put, I didn't put two and two together. I was just like, oh man, all these fucking people are putting up the same, man, a lot of people like Stink Fist. Yeah. And then yeah, everyone's yeah. like, yeah, that was when Maynard said you could take your phone out and then uh, record. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool yeah, he does that. It's fucking great. The next one we're going to do is a big, big group, I think is going to be if not Manson Ozzy which is I'm sure some of us will go to it, it's got to be the Motley Crue Poison Def Leppard I mean oh, the people watching I mean yeah that's going to be that's going to be a, that's gonna be a 20 that's person worth the outing. ticket that's going to be a 20 that's person outing that's worth the ticket alone <laughs> oh my god are you kidding me Motley Crue in 2020 tailgating uh, Def Leppard and Poison come on dude the, the people watching dude, alone the, is going to be five bonfires st- worth the strengths of some of those female body scars at that place. The interviews Black Lou's going to get in that parking lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're, gonna, they're not even going to believe that a black person's there. We're going to make them dress so Def Leppard. <laughs> that concert is going to be a testament to how far medicine has came treating hepatitis. <laughs> look at all these people Just still alive. <clears throat> look at all these people still it's moving. It's no along. longer a death sentence, sir. <laughs> now it's something you can thrive. They should just do all all the pharma commercials for Hep C medication. They should just do it as like in parking lot samples. Like how long? He's like, I got diagnosed in 02 and I'm still out here raging. Yeah, I love it. It's like, how do you know? That's the best place to find out if it's working. Mm-hmm. Is there still able to fill a state? Is Molly Cruz still able to fill a stadium? <laughs> well, then hepatitis like a- is fucking has been kept at good. bay. Yeah, guess what? We are winning the war against hepatitis. We're stomping A- it out, as evident by this A-N-C. parking lot at MetLife Stadium, B- filled with the 
most sunburned tits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, dude, I bet if you, I bet it's a billion tit freckles in that parking lot, buddy. We're not going to see. <laughs> you won't. See, you're going to see a lot of tits, but not one of them won't be crispy fried. Dude, if they don't do a fucking documentary following the whole tour called "A Billion Tit Freckles," <laughs> it's like turkey skin where you have to like put butter between yeah. between the tit skin and the and the muscle. Uh, it looks the, like wet leather. It's gonna oh, it's gonna be so much fucking large flat ass being shown. It's gonna be oh it's gonna be really God. great. And then there's gonna be you know many, young whores be with their of, mothers who yeah. are gonna look bored as shit though. Sad dude, sad rose tats on tits. For there's sure. a lot to get out. A lot of Looney Tunes. Oh man. Uh, people yeah. not dressed like they're going to a concert. People just like they were no. all, like they might have gone to seven eleven and found out there was a concert down the street and went yeah. flip flops. Bright, co- a lot of loud uh, nautical color shorts. Yeah. Oh my God. We. I can't wait. We got to get our tickets. We oh, got to yeah. get tickets. It's gonna be a gaggle of comics going to that. It's gonna I be would insane. say that's that on paper sounds like the greatest people watching event in the history of white. It, it, it has trash. to be. We can go if the concert starts at seven. We'll say. Six. Oh, I'm going at. I'm going to. I'll sleep there. I say we. Be, I say we get there at no later than two. I want to set up a time elapsed thing to watch the parking lot fill and empty. That's oh how long I'm going. Hang out by merch. Oh my yeah. lord! And the and the uh, and the porta potties. Merch and porta potties. All right, you have your stations, DJ Lou. Yeah, pick them. <laughs> yeah, guys, I feel like we can flank the north end. We got to get them. We are going to dominate parking lot area C. If if you have low grade cocaine and you're not in that parking lot selling it, you are an idiot. If we don't That's sell, if we don't uh, crowd surf Jacob, well, we're a yeah. real missed opportunity. Jacob, you will coast, oh, buddy. No. Dude, oh, I want Jacob to end up in the Motley crew, that Molly Crew. Guys. What? I'm gonna I want, enjoy myself at that Motley. Oh, crew you're gonna concert. rage, bro. Yeah, for sure. I want I want Jacob to get laid by a lady uh, named like. Janice that just fucks the <laughs> shit out of him. Lewis's sister? <laughs> oh, no. I was, yeah. By the way, Jan- yeah, she will be you know there. What? That'd be funny. She will be there, and she is a huge metal fan. <laughs> Janice. Oh, man. I Janice would love if Gomez. she hooked up with... I want to see her hook up with Jacob. Oh, yeah. I think she might be married. But Damn it. No, but if not, Jacob, it doesn't matter. Hey, it doesn't matter. Concert no. rules, dude. <laughs> concert what happens rules. to crew stays a crew. <laughs> dude, Mot- Motley Crew is like... It's like sea law <laughs> at a Motley Crew show. It definitely. It's definitely. You're out of jurisdiction. Law. International law, dude. No, you're fine, dude. You could take a woman and make her. If you beat up a guy with a woman there, she is yours. Yeah. That's the law. That's the law of crew also, concerts. Also, if your buddy passes out because he's been raging too hard and you take his woman, it's like Old West law. You you're raise his family to. now. But only if you take a picture with your dick on his face first. Yeah. You and you take got, one dude, selfie. Skeezer was fucking out. You were so hammered, so me and Karen just took off. Is, I hope it was cool, man. Don't worry. She just rubbed her butt on me a bunch till I came. Man, you know what's so funny? My oh, uncle, she'll be there. My Uncle Tommy, she'll have you... You have plenty of white trash people in your life over from uh, hanging with your dad in Lakeport, right? Oh, no, man. All the 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 thing about white trash is the good die young. No, it's like no. fucking... They're like... White trash is like... Uh, good white trash is like running backs. No, they right. Have like five years. They do. They a lot. Of t- oftentimes they will, but you remember them, like some of the people, the Cal- oh, Caldonias and stuff. I was just there. The people there, oh, right. no, I was... I was just up uh, in Lake County. Right. Looking at all the... Like, I went by the shut down bowling lane and there you all go. those people. That's what I mean. Dude, those people... What's funny about oh, that is my Uncle Tommy... My Uncle Tommy was friends with a lot of white garbage. That was the people that did the Mummers Parade and yeah. just drink you know, MGDs all day long. <laughs> and he knew how a bunch of those people. A lot of the guys come over that were like weirdly cut, but they had no teeth, even though they were in their 20s. Dude, the but it's weird now. On, it's, go ahead. I was going to say, poor people's bodies, people don't realize. Like poor, crazy trash. Mm-hmm. White trash, whatever trash you want to talk about. For some reason, nature gives them unbelievable bodies yeah. to sucker people making babies with them. Just tan, and then jacked just, bodies. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. The torsos I've seen on manual labor jobs with guys I'm working with that don't like that can't spell their own name and they're just like, "What's up, man?" You go to a guy, you go to any construction site in a hot weather place, I promise you, there's a guy who looks as good as Tom Selleck. Like I mean, back jet. in the day. Like a back in the day would, hairy I chest David, Tom Selleck. There's guys with just torsos. And there's women, that's where you see like uh, you know, young poor garbage women that just have unbelievable bodies. 
Yeah, it happens. They do it. And it convinces them to have babies. And then they yeah, get all that's what weird. it is. They, it's get, all, they get it's, fat like just behind their elbows. The whole thing turns dude, apart. If you watched a nature documentary about humans, that would be a thing where they're like, poorer species have learned to make their bodies unbelievable, trapping babies. Yeah. You know, because they're like, dude, look at this girl's natural double Ds. And you put a baby in her and she's like, now I'm going to wreck your shit for 20 years. It is funny nature how much like procreating is trickery. It's like it's all they it lure is. them in with this thing and then rip his head <laughs> off and, and keep the semen inside. Like holy shit! Uh, or they trick. tell the same they tell the same stories nine times in a row <laughs> for the next twenty years. You're like I've heard the bingo story. Um, Jacob, mm-hmm. I know you're all amped up for the crew, but how was your Thanksgiving? You had a surprise, right? This was a surprise, yeah. I mean, because I told you I was looking forward to just sitting in my apartment. It wasn't going to happen. Days. You'd have had us making a whole scene in your building. I got to tell you i mean i appreciate you the offer but i mean uh i i do enjoy being a lazy guy and sitting in my apartment for there's days. some there's it's some. wonderful i get it i get it jacob yeah no we but wouldn't, I, you wouldn't have sat by yourself on thanksgiving it wouldn't happen black thanksgiving i've done it a few times and i i gotta say enjoyed it i miss my family it makes but me it sadder that you keep saying you did it a few times since 2015. <laughs> Who answered that but for prayer? For people are, who are contemplating just staying home and not doing anything, I say, try it. You'll like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I like Jacob's just gone in. He's like, embrace nothing. How, Let having, the pain wash over you. <laughs> but having said that, I mean, I love my family. I get along with them. I just, it's more like economics. I couldn't go. But on Wednesday night, my dad called me and he said uh, he, he bought me a ticket. He found a, a ticket for me, so I went down Thursday morning. Hell yeah. And, Yay. Uh, you have a big Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah, my, we have a big extended family down there. So really? It was like 25, 30 people. Great food? Yeah. Worked out. Killer food. And then, yeah, and then I had a blast. I came back last night. Were you, are you the bell of the ball in your family now? They come home from your big New York City radio job, crushing uh, pussy all over the place? <laughs> Plus, well, I mean... No. <laughs> no, not at all. Comes down to Florida and he goes, you guys want big stories? You want big city stories? How about this? I had a, t- I had a two-lady kiss at a roller rink. <laughs> like he's using offensive language. He's making understand. up stuff? He's like, then I throated this one girl at a show. It was crazy. Just jammed <laughs> yeah, like, it right was... down there. She took it. <laughs> <laughs> she knew she was talking to Jake. On her. She knew she was hanging with Jake. Do you bring him back small trinkets from New York? For you, Auntie, it's an Empire State trophy. <laughs> this is dirt from the walkway where John Lennon was shot. My family <laughs> still can't pronounce the company I work at. What do they call Series it? They still say uh, Cyrus. My mom calls it Cyrus. Oh. And then I have, they call it XM Sirius. Oh, dude, that's they so massacre funny. the name. Guess they're not they listeners. still don't understand what I do. They don't know what you do? Damn, Jacob. It's hard to explain. Why don't you show him YouTube videos or something? I showed I get a my lot dad of skank. I had to. He said, "Just show me one of your shows, the mm-hmm. regular shows." I said, "No." Are, you, are they <laughs> making you do? Are they making you do the gay stuff, Jacob? He's like, "No, Dad, stop." Yeah. I, they're are my those, friends. Are those New York queers making you do things you don't want to do? Uh, those big city boys and the ba- very big woods. They come in. Next thing you know, they're putting a hot dog right in your bagel. <laughs> they trick you. <laughs> they trick you, and then you have sex with them. He's a, he, <laughs> next thing you know, you're laying next to a hot, sweaty Swedish man, doubting in, all your f- previous decisions. It's in, it's out, it's in, it's heat. He pulls it out, your back's all wet. <laughs> Turns out you look forward to the wetness on your back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you realize you enjoyed the man schmeckle inside your tuchus. <laughs> <laughs> your tuchus aches a little bit for two days, and then you're back to good. <laughs> I understand. I'm a, it's not my thing, but He's I love a, you regardless. My dad's a like a very religious man. Yeah, that's so what we used to do. Really? That was the impression was we used to do. Although I heard he was quite a Even player. Even better, what if he was like, when what if he was, he was like Southern Baptist? You heard your dad what was, if he was a player? Like real, Extreme real player. Southern Baptist. Did you hear that, Dan? He said his dad. Wait, hold on. Two things. Number one, yeah. <laughs> it'd be funnier if, if when you said he's really religious if because he's fr- if, in Florida if he was Southern Baptist. Like if Jacob's not even Jewish, he's like fire and brimstone Christian and we've just completely Fan yourself wrong. religious. Yeah, he's like, oh, look, Jacob, back from New York City. He's just a swamp preacher. <laughs> Jacob's dad is a swamp preacher. So funny. Oh, this dancing with snakes at Thanksgiving. Bring he's over like, your canoes. 
and rare or Jacob, I hear you on the radio talking. Uh, and then the other thing is him as a player is so good. So Jacob's great. dad. I can so conf- great. A lot of my family members, like my aunts told Is that me, why you got religious? Like they, my oh, grandmother, he, my he mom's dipped his mom way to heaven. Her, Please don't marry my son. You're too good for <laughs> Like he was such a player. Fifth stripper, oh fifth stripper had to get an abortion. He went religious. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got to turn it around. Love- <laughs> you know what? I love bad bitches. That's my problem. That's the only prequel I want to see is uh, fucking player Mr. Batak. <laughs> oh, with fucking like aquariums in the bottom of his platform shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, he's like, hey, hey, hey. No, the lies dun-dun-dun. that he my told, good, he told I was people. talking to my good friend Curtis Mayfield. <laughs> he said he's coming over. He's got a new tune. <laughs> baby, let those things out of the bra. You got to let them breathe, baby. <laughs> you ever suck a schmeckle in a Cadillac? <laughs> 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 you ever suck the shackles again? It's so goddamn funny. <laughs> oh, that one fucking split me. Uh, have you ever sucked a schmeckle in a Cadillac? Well, so would you like fucking... to? <laughs> Hi. There's nothing oh between us right God. now but air and opportunity. <laughs> you want to take it over to the bench seats <sighs> of my Cadillac? Put it in your hand. Hey, hey, your hold my clammy. Septa. Hold my scepter while I take off my rings. <laughs> you ever you ever blown a man in a fur coat? Stories. Of- uh, your dad wears a scepter with a Jewish star on top of it. <laughs> the, <story. laughs> <laughs> the lies I'm t- I don't even recognize the person that they told me he was. Really? Like he would tell them he was a surgeon. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, whoa! Like that. I think the lies are all Jewish. Dude, like, dude, yeah, I'm, I'm Moses' a, I'm a, nephew. I'm a reliable CPA. Yeah. I own my own Torah manufacturing company. It's all stuff Jewish moms want to hear. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very doctor close lawyer. To my mother. <laughs> I'm a doctor lawyer. I also have saved a lot of money and I love my mother more than anyone. Stuff I'm a doctor of... lawyer, banker Jew. Stuff that was very easily confirmable. <laughs> so great. He goes, I well, invented the car. Gra- <laughs> what? If you ask my grandmother, she'll tell you I'm a mensch, but really I'm a diamond dealer. <laughs> Uh, dude, that's so fucking funny to find out that your dad was just <laughs> smashing ass. Was this in, where was this? It Jersey? Was, no, this was in, in Israel. Woo! What? Sorry, I overmodulated. Yeah, I mean, I just player. That. Oh, Sorry. yeah, I bet he was a player out there. Hardcore Most, player. All you gotta do is take a shower dude. and you're beating 90% of the community. <laughs> yeah, you can handle an Uzi and you're just gonna be yeah. getting sucked off constantly. And we could all be players with girls that have hairy chests. <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't know you <laughs> Dude, now I, now that I know your dad's a hot Israeli fucking coxman, fucking Mennonite, Mennonite gigolo. There's a picture of my dad. He was just jacked. <laughs> as a team. He goes, "You want to go? You want to go to the Veiling Wall? How about I make you well? We're having fun. Come here. Let me see that." Hey, look, it's no big deal. I'll go there. I'll suck you. I'll fuck you. And, you know, you give me a couple of shekels and uh, I'll be on the way. Hey, male gigolo. Yeah. My dad oh, was dude. like this pillow. You could do what you could do me. I could do you. It doesn't matter. I put a pillow. I sit on a pillow in <laughs> my you, Cadillac. If you want to, if you want to watch, you just. Don't toss a rock. We have fun here. <laughs> Please don't get your fluids on the seats there, Velvet. <laughs> oh, that's my friend over there, Mr. Elvis Presley. Just lies. I like that he lied. You cannot get come. You can't get come on Velvet. It's not coming out. Remember old Buick seats? Yeah. You know what I mean? Remember when seats were like that velvet material? Yeah, it was like. Uh, it was yeah, like I don't know how, but fine. Never- Hey, of all like the time, when people, that's when people would fuck in cars. All that time, the seventies is when the interior of cars were felt. The worst thing. You could possibly get cum or pussy juice on. Yeah, it could just crust up. Just it's going like, like mange. On your seat. It looks like when a dog has mange, <laughs> like missing parts. There's bald patches. We goes, that's where I had to really scrape out the cum. <laughs> I got a feral car. I let, it sit. Here. I let that jizz sit a bit. I just scrape it out. Get an ice cube, or take just- it off like gum. Discovering, discovering jizz on your seat in your car, and you're like, ah, fuck! I knew that <laughs> yeah, went somewhere. Like, I knew that went somewhere. Like, is that milkshake? Is ah, shit, that's calm. No, yeah. Oh, I forgot I fucked back here. Jacob, no your family dad... fights or nothing. No, Just dad talks about his pimping stories. No, Jacob, he can't. I... He never tells him. Okay, I, I know, think he I know has you're... a lot of guilt about that, which is why I, I think he went them. so hardcore the other way. <laughs> that's what I want to know. I think you're saving. I know you're saving it for the movie rights, but <laughs> what flipped your dad straight? What was the bad score? You went through the three way. Hey Dan, you want to hear the rest? By the rights. Yeah. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. 
I don't know. I think the he finally like really liked a girl, but I think he had started out. I think that was the one he had actually told he was like a a surgeon. <laughs> really? She just found out he wasn't, and uh, yeah, she broke up with really? him, and I think that kind of set him straight. How many fights or anything happened at Thanksgiving? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, no, no Dan no, asked. No, I oh, yeah, asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked the question oh. about him. No, I, oh. we get a where our family actually gets along pretty well. Extended family. There's hidden things. There's hidden things. Well, I mean, we were when they were younger. There was a hidden. fair amount of everyone's kind of mellowed out. Hidden things. We well, never know. I watched. What uh, are you say? Are yeah. you saying that Jacob eats with a lot of tension in the room? No, I do. That just reminded me of the thing I, I sort of told you about this on the phone, Dan. That I want you to watch that doc. Has anybody in the room watched that documentary Ari told us about? Tell me who I am. I haven't read the documentary, but I read an article about it that made me want to watch it about what the documentary is about, and it's fucking crazy. So, spoiler alert, everybody, if you're listening, I will say that just because it's worth saying for the funny, how much funny and Dan were laughing at with this on the phone. It's a story about two twin brothers. Very interesting documentary. One gets into a major car accident when he's 19, I believe, or 20, or a motorcycle accident, actually. Dirt bike, it seems like. And he wakes up, wakes up in the hospital, sees his twin brother, calls his twin brother's name, and, you know, he's like, hey, what's going on, Marcus? What's, why am I in the hospital? And he starts telling him all this stuff. And then the mom walks in the room, and he has no idea who the mom is, and then realizes he has no idea anything other than his twin brother and his twin brother's name. Which is very wow, interesting. That's the, only, that's the only thing you woke up with. Th- yeah, that's crazy. So then his brain damage. Yeah. Yeah. Then his twin brother goes on for the next several years. These are your friends. This is your family. This is where we live. They lived very uh, weird. They slept like in a shed outside of like a big, big house. The two of them together. Wh- Wait. So they weren't allowed in the house. They're outdoor sons. Yeah. Am I right, Christine? About that, they weren't allowed in the house really. They, were they tied they to a tree a shed, at least? And they like lived in their shed. It wasn't really that they weren't allowed in the house. They weren't allowed to have keys to the house, yeah. so they could only come Weird. and go on the mom's command. And then they had a shed Weird. where they kind of like made it their own. Well, can I ask a can I ask a follow up question? Sure. Was it a tough shed? Mm, no. Because those no, it was are not a tough shed. Sheds. No, it was like a chambers of a house. Kind of ah. thing. They have like a big, big. They, they came from like a wealthy family. They're British, correct? British, yes. It does seem that does seem like something where they think twins are a birth defect, so they're like, "You both shall live outside." <laughs> um, I won't tell you the whole. Big, well, anyway, so they're they're the brother paints for him this picture. Yes, Christine, were you gonna say something? No. Oh, the brother paints a, a picture for the one that has no memory of their childhood being this like ideal childhood thing. You'd see a picture of them at a beach and it'd be like yeah this is where we went to the beach and this is that was a great time he, a family he's trip retained none of his memories correct nothing he has no idea except who his he brother is. and his brother's name yes that's it so then you can basically lie to him so he does he tells him his ideal life and with the you know without, i won't give away the second kind of holy shit moment but the first one is all these years later as part of the documentary they realized years ago that there was something wrong he was like, wait a second, when the mom died, they found some stuff, and it was like this, something weird happened, didn't it? Our childhood wasn't what you told me it was. And the guy was like, no, it's not. And then he wouldn't tell him what it was, what did so happen. He knew, so he was he realized that his bro, his twin brother, that he woke up from the motorcycle accident knowing, and it had, filled in, had filled in his childhood, mm-hmm. Realized he realizes that the brother lied to him about stuff. Yes, but he didn't find out exactly what it was yet. And the brother said, I'm not telling you. Yeah. I don't want to tell you. So they don't speak for like years and years. And on this documentary, because, because, he finally because, tells is, him. Is this the guy that, is he holding it against his brother? He's like, you won't tell me what happened? Yeah. He, when yeah he's angry at him. He is angry at him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but, if you wake up from a motorcycle accident, he's like, I'm not going to tell you what happened in your childhood. You're like, I want to know. Yeah, well, he did tell him. He just told him all lies. But good lies. Gave him a good life. He had a good life. And sure. He ended up getting married and all kinds of shit. It was fine. But when uh, when they sit down at a table so we can officially tell him what happened. Yeah. On the documentary. It's his first time hearing it in real time in the documentary. It was just, I was having so much fun laughing with you saying, he said, the guy is so desperate to find out what happened. And I'm like, man, do you really want to find information like that? And we just have fun with your Because they sit across each other from the table and go, lay it on me, man. Anything 
in the world you can tell me <laughs> right now I'm prepared. I've been building this up for 30 years. It yeah. couldn't be worse. Mom used to show in your chest. Son of a bitch. I gotta go. I didn't. <laughs> God damn it. I was wrong. Yeah. I was wrong. He goes, I'm telling you, eye to eye, face to face, <laughs> I can handle whatever you're gonna fucking throw at me. Well, you're not gonna like this. Uh, Dad wore you as a masturbation puppet every night. Ah, you fuck. Ah, oh, ah, shut ah, up. Ah, don't say anymore. Ah, oh, I thought I wanted to know, but I don't. It stings and it's sad. Well, what it is is the mom... Uh, and the mom's friends, their socialite friends, were just basically passing around those two kids, and Aye. they'd send them overnight, and everyone could fuck them and do whatever they wanted to Aye. them, and it was, it was, uh, it seemed like nonstop. And, and they kept them in the shed. That's kind of yeah. that's kind of a little insult to injury. Well, I'm sorry. Where do you keep if your flashlights? <laughs> I don't know if you keep yeah, but I feel like if you're gonna you fuck sleep your in your kids, mom's closet or end table, no, dude. I, I don't want it out there collecting dust. I don't know what it's gonna bring in it. But also, we were saying that the, how you could fuck with them when you tell them the actual truth. It was like mom used to yeah. molest us and send you off. He goes, they used to take you a lot more, the friends, because yeah. like I think honestly, oh, honestly, if I recall correctly, I th I think you liked it. I think oh, you, liked you it mean a lot. <laughs> doing the Corey Feldman and just fucking making it and just burying your friend? I just tell his like, face like he goes. Yeah. I, he goes, and then mom's friends used to just take us for a weekend. They would have sex with us all weekend, but they only did it one at a time. He goes, you were much more popular. I think. I think they said you like really threw into it. Like you took yeah, to they, it they, well. They, you were actually they, bummed uh, when it stopped. <laughs> they told me they liked. You. They said they liked you because they you seemed to like it. That's what all they said. They said uh, I was always but, complaining and like actually well, not being gay and then they, they were said, like the yeah. other one though, he, goes, he goes you took to it fish to water man i mean it was but like almost they, but even the, the first guy was like this is your first rodeo if one of the guys was a bully to the other one so he was just <laughs> kind of saying it meaner he's like you know they were saying i was probably too cool and i probably shouldn't be fucked like that but they were saying like you loved like you lived for it. <laughs> yeah you'd be like hey can i go away with uh whatever your friends names are again <laughs> yeah they would honestly just, sometimes they'd just take you for weeks and I'd just live at home alone and that was kind of nice. Yeah, it was nice. i get a break from it. I hated it. It was not my I thing at all. But man, I'll tell dad you what. And I, dad and I talked more, you know, but mom <laughs> loved to fuck you with her friends. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> And he allowed himself to be sodomized. <laughs> that's my that's my whole point. That's my whole point with the fell fell dog hamster shit. Is like he is just burying his dead friend. Yeah. Well, this isn't. I mean, this is burying the dead mom. But I mean, it seems pretty legit. This is what's going on. Um, well, you said they found pictures and shit. Yeah, right? they found pictures of themselves like naked with the heads cut off yeah. and stuff. As like, I don't know, advertisement or something. And the mom yeah. was a creepy looking. The whole thing I thought the secret was going to be the mom was a trans, and nope, that's just a very, no, that was very your, ugly woman. Yeah, you're like I got money on this lady. Yeah, by the way, pre pre war trans injury to insult uh, or insult to injury. Get molested by your mom. Your mom's not even hot. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. If you're gonna get sucked off by your mom, you want her to be a babe. Yeah, when she looks up, you want to at least go. go That's a good looking woman. <laughs> you know what? Mom, mom or not, it's a good looking woman. Yeah, this is gonna flip a switch. <laughs> and then, but at that, but him saying that at that table, being like, "Tell me exactly what it is." He's like, <sighs> "Our ugly ass mom used to suck your dick." Wow! Like, <laughs> really? Sigh, you fuck. Man, Fuck, you should, really? Could you at least give me? Is that the worst thing? Don't tell me that's, that's yeah. got to be the worst thing, right? You started with that. Oh, I don't want to hear anymore. I'm wrong. I'll see you in 30 years, dude. You used to sleep by back floating in a bathtub of a friend's cum. <laughs> oh, oh God. God, no! no. Oh, Fuck it! Stop it! I just I checked like, the lights. Dude, I wanted to check the perimeter. I can handle it, man. Whatever you tell me. What's the worst? What? What? A mom used to have sex with us or something crazy like that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, That's what it was, uh, wasn't it? He goes, well, also, her friend used to gangbang you. Jeez, uh, Louise! Stop! Uh, also, they used, uh, they took your favorite teddy bear, and that was their comrade. Oh! oh patches? Oh, fucking mi Mr. Pickles? <laughs> Mr. Pickles used to wipe up cum. He was I thought he was guy. just superposable. Oh, no, I liked, I, I called him Crunchy Bear after the age of seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's that's fucking. I thought I, I must have been brushing my is. teeth over him or something. Ah, uh, I don't know. I thought I drooled on him when I slept. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out he was just mopping up the fucking governor's cum on my back. Oh man, they can't do this. They did it. Dude. I know. They, they did, did it, so it all much. over him. That's fucking crazy. That just sucks to just ask your brother, like, give me the worst advice, and you're like, hee hee hee, yeah, all right, buddy. Give me the worst thing. Give me the worst, and we'll work backwards from there. How bad could it possibly yeah. be? 
Um, uh, Dad just, used to fuck your mouth. My like, mom would shit on you. Oh, oh. that's the, really. <laughs> also, they never really enjoyed your poems. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the thing. When you Mike, when you expect, when you get to hear that noise, you're like, I'm going to hear a pretty big secret here. I assume yeah. he thought in some way it was sexual harassment, whether it was going to be the mom, the dad. So he kind of. I think it was prepped for that. To find out that then they would send you off to be gang banged regularly by friends, that's like, you, he wasn't even sort of picturing that. That's something he said, like, I mean, as long as he's going to tell me I was getting gang banged every weekend by strange uh, adults, yeah, it's like, yeah. I guess my mom probably, or my dad did something, or an uncle, or whatever. You know, it's like you're trying to rationalize the thing it's going to be. And then it's yeah. so much worse. She used to worse make them, you're... by the way, she used to, and by the way, he does do a Corey Feldman move, the brother that does know everything. Yeah, the one that had all the information the whole time he does a fell dog move at one point he goes and then uh, one time when we were like 14 or something like that some age like that he goes they sent me off and I went and a guy started doing this to me and I was like nah I don't want to do that and then he touched yeah. me here and I said I don't want to do that and then he said oh okay no problem and then uh, he was sent home and he said it never happened again after that moment and you're just like yeah, he made himself what? a hero. He's like, yes, they knew at that point. I'll kick a motherfucker's goes, ass. They come at me like that again. It was, he goes, it was pretty crazy. I detected he you. Went for my, he went for my penis, and I said, not today. And then he <laughs> said, what did you say? And I looked him right in the eye, and I said, not today. It was at that point I realized I was surrounded by seven hard pedophiles. <laughs> I got down into Crouching Tiger, and I looked at him right in the face, and I said, you picked the wrong hole to fuck. And like a Cue circle. A pr of... Prodigy smack my bitch yeah. up. As, as their dicks were erect like a circle of boards, and I just roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick through every one of them. And then I can only, I can tell you, I only, the only, I mean, this is the opposite of Prodigy. <laughs> I said Prodigy smack my bitch up, and it's like, well, sweet I'll tell you flute. what, whoever plays this flute, though, is a Prodigy at something, I promise you. Oh, absolutely. And has a very tense relationship with their mom. Without a doubt. has been wearing a tuxedo since Pretty they good. were five. Oh my God! It's very, very lined up bangs. <laughs> <laughs> very fucking on point, like the sideburns of a Puerto Rican. Fucking lined up bangs on a fucking a fucking bowl cut. Dude, if it, that's how he tells the Get story, your dicks goes, out, mates. You want you want to have sex with me? You gonna have to earn it. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's Jason Statham-ing his own stories. He goes, and I look around and I go, "You got seven dicks out. I've only got two feet and two hands." Like a John Woo movie, him just running around on the dick. Let's see if that math works <laughs> out, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you got hard, yeah? Bring Wrong it on. Kick this shit out. Let's go. You ever seen Cranked? <laughs> it's a good movie, by the way. Is it Cranked? Is that Crank. what it's called? Or is Crank. Crank. It's great. I thought it was about. I thought the movie was about crystal meth, but it's not. It's about him and his heart. He has to go. It's speed. It's he's a human speed. The movie. It's speed. human speed, dude. Someone definitely pitched it like that, or they're yeah. like. We've got Jason Statham. We're going to do human speed. He can't he go, go below. 55. <laughs> 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 We've already got a draft written. <laughs> Lay it on me, dude. I swear to God. If you say Tell it, I can take it. You are my brother, and I trust you. It was. You're the one I person I remember after the accident. <laughs> yeah, I think you started sucking off some of these guys by yourself, actually, after a while. Once, the, <laughs> once mom stopped it, I think you like reached out on your own. There's rumors. Uh, I heard from I heard from Aunt Jane that you actually uh, call, called some of the dudes and met up with them and started harassing them. You called one your boyfriend until he got weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you stop calling me. Oh, come on, but you but you put your charger in me bum boom. Oh. I wanted to take you. I'm a little bit of a soggy Philip, and I want to put your finger in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Why would you give me all that love and then take it away like that? You did, you does. Oh, you does, you doesn't just. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so funny. He goes, oh, I hate to tell you this, brother. I hate to tell you this, brother, but they used to call you the circus seal because you were sitting around and honk their horns. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? What was the nickname for? That's why I had you would play the seals. wieners like tubular bells. You did, you does. You remember how you had all them stuffed seals? It's because your boyfriends would come over and leave you. It is a little gift. Well, man, I'll tell you what. After a long night, you get a pass around by your mom's friends. You can only hope yeah. to come home to a good night's sleep. And what's going to make that better? <laughs> yes. Than Bowling and Branch. They're known for making get... super soft, so, soft, super soft, super soft. organic oh, cotton keep... sheets. Millions of oh, dollars. Yeah. 
I was hoping you were going to stick with the My, Co- My Cousin Vinny read. <laughs> Your super Marissa soft Tomac. organic cotton Stay sheets that millions store. of Americans love, including three, three U.S. presidents. That's a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. <laughs> they got thousands of five-star reviews from customers who say they never go back to their old sheets again. Yuck. Why would you? Ew. Why Ew. would you? That's because Bow and Branch sheets are the softest and most comfortable sheets in the world. And they only get softer and softer over time. If you haven't tried Bow and Branch, it's the uh. perfect time because their Cyber Monday sale begins. You listening, Dan? Yeah. Are you listening? Because you're going to flip. You doing that with a gum in your mouth is perfect, yeah. by the way. So, the Cyber Monday sale begins. When do you think it begins, Dan? Uh, today? Yeah, right now. Yeah. Oh, my. I over my. You, guess, you know, you guessed the first shot. This means you can get the most comfortable sheets so you'll ever own, along with everything else on this site, for 25% off. That's right. 25% off everything at bowlingbranch.com. These sheets are easily comparable to $1,000 sheets, but you can get them for a fraction of the price, not off a truck, not off some back alley deal. This is all legal. Yeah. You also get 30 nights to try them out with no risk. That's right. You can just do whatever you want and send them back with no risk. Visit BowlingBranch.com for 25% off everything with no minimum purchase required. Do you love that, Daniel? Oh, of course I do. Get 25% off at B-O-L-L and branch.com. I don't want to, I don't even want to take a break. Something where we, have, we haven't talked to anyone else about their Thanksgiving yet. We'll There's get to it, going. but dude, you know what's the, you know what's the coolest part of uh, having these fog up windows? Did, Christine, did you get the video? That you yes, can I send? have it right here. That you can beat right there? Let me show everybody Oh, now. dude, I can beat, yeah, the only guy, only one guy's got to watch. Let's see. And that's how I like it. Through a glass window. Oh, that is so cool! Can you fog out? Isn't that, that fucking guy too? cool? Can you fog uh, out? No, the he engineer? doesn't. Fo- uh, no, but in the back, the window behind him is a great view of L.A. And then you can just fucking fog that up. But what happens is it's just a button you touch. I want you to so fog out the window can... between you guys, so it's like the disrespect, like when you put the middle up on a on a talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. limo driver. <laughs> yeah, yo, Christine, I'm, Christine will flat out close this in here. Christine, you know those guys, they have that little hatch open in a cab, and they generally have things stuck in it to kind of almost keep it open and, and shit. Sure. Christine tries to close it so much, it's so funny to watch her, and the guy's just, you can almost feel his face just going, Lady, I've heard it all. <laughs> what are you going to what tell is, him so bad what? that he cannot you, possibly understand? What are you you used to have to sex with all mom's friends. Oh! oh, my God. There's nothing I've heard that will disappoint me. <laughs> I used... I used to cut off children's heads and fuck them. Oh, come on! Now it's shit down their necks. It's the only way it can come. Hi, 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 hi! Hachi, machi, that's a spicy one. Uh, <laughs> Holy so when moly! Fog, when you fog up the windows, it's fun just to go, shields up! <laughs> and, then, and then you fog up, and now we're protected from the outside world. How can you make enough money, possibly, that you have a circle of friends that are just quiet about all like like pedophiling kids. Oh, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's a thing they definitely bonded over. <laughs> it's a thing yeah. where one of them broke up and he was like, oh, if only one of us had like twins we could fuck. And you go, do you know Sheila from the community center? Well. She just had twins. I think she'd be open to the idea of grooming them. I mean, if me Listen, and you. I mean, worst case scenario, one of them has a headache and doesn't remember. I mean, if you want to make that kind of money, maybe the answer is, I mean, enough money to really get away with auctioning off your children to the closest buyer for sure. crazy pedo- not Don't play the music yet, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> crazy pedophile yeah, gay sex. Oh, maybe Lou, so, yeah, maybe nah. selling things online would be the way to cover that. Bring it on, Lou. You know getting your orders out can be a real pain, especially during the holiday rush. That's why you need ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Yo! You can be sure your shipments are delivered in time for the holidays. ShipStation helps you get orders out quickly, save money on shipping costs, and keep your customers happy. ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. ShipStation will recommend the best shipping carrier for each order at the lowest rates available. You can compare rates across all the top carriers, including UPS, FedEx, and USPS, and you'll always know you're getting the best deal. ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. Take the hassle out of holiday shopping this year, which I have. Christine, we're yes. going to have to use ShipStation big time because it's too much. Yeah. I uh, I'm, I, I got frazzled this morning thinking about how close we are to uh, having to send out 7,000 gifts. 
I don't like that many people, Jacob. Why do I have to buy that many gifts? That's I say you only world. do it for people that you could shake their hand. Well, you get to try ShipStation free for 60 days by using offer code COMEDY. There's no credit card required to try it out, so there's no reason to wait. Go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in COMEDY. That's ShipStation.com, enter COMEDY. ShipStation, make ship happen. Hey, are they going to find out we sent you? Not with that code. Oh, sweet burn, everyone. Sick burn. Sick burn. <laughs> Tell me anything. Just shoot from the hip. <laughs> Do not hold back at all. Uh, you were a human toilet at a weird upscale Japanese oh. restaurant. Oh. Oh. I thought mom sucked my dick or something. Oh my no. God. When he yeah, first they, described, uh, I had a hard time. It's such a nightmare. Thank God the reality of it when you're watching a documentary is such a nightmare that you can't pull the humor in the split second even. So you have a real moment of humanity. Be like, oh my God, that's terrible. When he first described yeah. it, he was like, it was just the mom he was telling him at first. And he's like, yeah. she would have us come in her room and sleep next to her on either side of her. And she goes, she'd touch us and then make us touch each other and then ask us to touch. It's just like some weird like game he of goes, like, I was, like three I card was Monty. Always... Like everyone's just he grabbing goes, a dick. <laughs> yeah, he goes, uh, she would make us touch each other. I was always the top. You always insisted on being the bottom. Jacob, what's that noise you made? Are you jealous? Is your mom hot? <laughs> come on. What? She wasn't hot? Come on, she my mom? <laughs> Stop talking about my mom. <laughs> I mean, your dad you quit his... Your, dude, your dad quit his pimping ways. <laughs> yeah, she must have been Hot something. Hot to lock down the stud. Yeah. Yeah, dude. She, she was fucking broke bitch. a stud. She was his top bitch. Top earner. I, you always keep the you? top... You always have to keep the top earner, top earner around. Oh. Are you kidding me? That Heine, what are you saying? <laughs> We're going to retire in five years. She worked the corners. These black girls today and these Puerto Ricans, they don't understand how to work the corner. It's a show. It was a, you got to put on a mind. show. Your, your mother, mother would go out there. Skill. She would do Ethel Merman songs. <laughs> wearing something slinky but tasteful. She would do very fun jokes. Stuff, <laughs> cat skills stuff. <laughs> Real quick. Clean stuff. She didn't need to work blue. It was beneath her. <laughs> <laughs> your mother knew how to tell a good rib. Oh, she was like a Rickles. You could hire for a bar mitzvah. <laughs> oh, my lordy lordis. I can't believe there's so many commercials in this first hour. Three and three, Commercials? Commercial? Come on, oh, man. man. Can't Come on, around. man. Can't stick around with the next one, Dan. Commercial? <laughs> oh, is it the one we got in trouble for? <laughs> it's our current It's our current on the fencer. Oh, yeah. Are they on the fence, really? <laughs> yeah, right? Which one is it? The yes. What are you about to hear? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, please. I believe that it was saying uh, no anti-Semitism. Yeah. yeah. I told you to respond with that didn't fly. That there's several Jews working on this show. I would almost say it's a Jewish radio show. It's basically a Jewish radio show. You Jews. hear black loose backdrops. Jews. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was right? anti, was that what it was? Anti-Semitism, Jacob? They were worried about. We were never anti-Semitic, by the way. For the I, record, look, I explained it, but you know they're just. What are they? A bunch of wine and Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they don't want to play ball with us. We want to play with them. <laughs> he goes, hey, hey, they're tossing a tough game, but I like to bring a bat to a fist fight. <laughs> You're cool. The, I admire. The humor was a little too blue for. I me. admire their gumption. Oh, I like it. Should we take a break? We haven't taken a break yet. Anyway, it's like an hour. No, but you know what I'm excited. At? Uh, I was on the way here, and mm -hmm. you remember Polly from Broadway? I told you on, mm -hmm. on Uncle Polly's Deli mm -hmm. out here in L.A. He texted me. He's like, uh, "We were just by." Oh, I just wrote him a DM like, "Hey, I'm like, I'm in L.A. I want to come by and get a sandwich." And he was like, "Dude, I'm listening to the bonfire right now." He just took a picture of listening to the <laughs> really. Episode. Nice. Yeah, you're like, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, Polly's the shit. I'm going to stop by Uncle Polly's Deli, get a good New York sandwich out yeah. here. Word up, dog. Plug promotion. Speaking of promotion, Big J is going to be in Boston this Thursday through Saturday, December 5th through the 7th at Laugh Boston. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Providence, Rhode Island. He didn't forget about you. You think he did? Well, he did. I it. didn't. He's going to yeah, he's gonna be at the Comedy Connection. Hold on. Ah, oh, sh the weekend after shit. that. 23, 4, 5? 19th through the... No, it's two weeks. The 19th through the 21st of December, uh, he's going to be at the Comedy Connection Rhode Island. Then San Jose... Christmas. 
Yeah. December uh, December 27th through the 29th, Big J going to be at the San Jose Improv. And get tickets for The Worst, hosted by Big J this Tuesday. It's t- tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yeah. Bennington, be Yamanika, Stavros. Come on. That show's the fucking shit. I got to do it with uh, Bobby Kelly and Lynn Coplitz. Oh, what a fun. fun. It's like... Dude, it's like perfect. It's I, I told Christine, it's like the perfect show for you. You just like sit there, let someone tell a story, and you just make it fucking hilarious. We so engage. go get tickets at Big J. Co- yeah, BigJComedy.com for tickets to all the shows I just listed. Um, and also, I just want to pl- add on to that. To go to my Instagram, Big J Okerson. On uh, Instagram, I've been putting up uh, these clips, IGTV clips of random crowd work I've done. Not random. I mean, we took a set, chopped yeah. it up, and see how they do. Online, if people enjoy them, so um, hashtag Crowdwork Chronicles. I'm putting those up. I just put the do second it. installment up today. So go check that out. Oh, yes, she did. Thanks, my mom. Yes. You said it, honey. Thank you, my mom. <laughs> uh, and of course, Dan Soder's new special, Son of a Gary, premieres Saturday, December 7th. People, it's less than a week away. It's here. He just shot the thing, and it's here. That's turnover time unheard of in this business. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. He needs a nice little quick turn around. And uh, make sure to check out th- all things. Th- you and then actually empty you out like a fucking wash dish. Yeah. So <clears throat> Jacob had, I guess, uh, uneventful Thanksgiving other than positivity. Uh, let's take it down the uh, around the horn here to uh, Black Lou. I know it's Black Thanksgiving in the, uh, in the Johnson household. Yes. Your in-laws don't come to that, right? No, we've had Thanksgiving together, but it was at my aunt's house, which is much quieter. Got you. Yeah. Okay, but mm-hmm. for the most part, they do it up in CT or right Connecticut. Uh, yep. And yep. then you guys uh, do it down in Jersey. So, um, but again, this year you went to it was Hood Thanksgiving. It was described. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. It was fun. Not as crazy as last year. Not as crazy. Very fun. Yeah. Last year got turned up. Oh yeah, it turned up last year. How many World so- Star videos came out of it? A few I can't. How many wolf stars? <laughs> wait, so uh, wait, so you're saying last year was a better Thanksgiving than this year? Yeah, the person that hosted my cousin Cindy, she had um, a 50th birthday party not too long ago, so people flew up for that uh, from like Georgia, where a lot of uh, the rest of the gotcha. So you got a yeah. you got a skeleton crew on the Thanksgiving. Exactly. You didn't get the full band. Still a DJ though. Nope, no DJ this time. Oh, yeah. What did you guys do? Shuffle on a Beats pill? We just watched the Cowboys get their ass kicked, and uh, Woo, what a shitty Thanksgiving! Yeah, Thanksgiving fucking was fun. the people of the Cowboys losing. They really did the Eagles a nice favor there and said, "Here, catch up with us for first place." Go ahead and take. Hey, it. all you gotta do is beat the Miami Dolphins, who are only yeah. have two wins this year and are terrible. And then they got outplayed in every possible way. You by guys the, got by the fucking Dolphins. Yeah. The Dolphins pumped themselves up and smacked an unsuspecting Philadelphia team. I don't know how they're not suspecting. They haven't beat anybody good this whole year. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm saying the the Eagles went in and they're like, yeah, we got the Dolphins. We're just fucking, we'll see them next week. And the Dolphins are like, this game is our life. Yeah. And then, it's a game uh, then of fuck. destiny, everybody, giving them speeches. I know we 2-8, and eight, but man, we in this motherfucker till we not. And they're like, let's go get some. And the Eagles are like, what are the fucking Dolphins? <laughs> Thank God. Thank God for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's the only thing keep me together right now. You mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 76ers? In sports? Yeah, it's the only thing. 10, 9, 8, 76ers? Right. Yeah, listen, uh, uh, Christine's only been forced to be an Eagles fan for a number of years, and even she was like head roll. Like, in the limited amount of time she's understood the game of football, she was like appalled at what she was watching. She couldn't believe it either. What are you putting in your yeah, sandwich was- order? <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I was texting someone that... I didn't even know you were looking at me. I was trying to get your fucking attention. Um, yeah, the Eagles, I didn't think... Wait, the whole NFC East is out, right? Didn't, like, the Giants get mathematically eliminated? The Eagles got mathematically eliminated? No, we're so not mathematically just, eliminated. The Eagles can win out, I guess, technically, but they're just... How? They're not getting better, <laughs> like, each week. They're getting more hurt each week, and with it's just... Dude, Carson Wentz is a bum. On Philadelphia... He's a bum for Philadelphia. He won't. He will never get we that talked mojo about, back. We talked about it yesterday. You think Nick Foles completely fucking ruined his chance of ever having confidence leading that team? I think he Possibly. just never got over that. It's like now, it's not like hey, we're gonna build this team together and we're gonna win a Super Bowl. His second year on the team, they go to the Super Bowl without him, 
and win it. Do you know what I mean? And win it, yeah. yeah. And I know he got him there. I get that. And he did, by the way, get him there. And Nick Foles just did it. So he is never going to feel like he earned a ring. If he does, I'd judge him more if he did feel that way. I know some people are going to tell yeah. him, like, dude, you were a big part of that season getting there. Like, sure, but you could have lost any one of those <laughs> Man, I been would... out. He played. I would, he missed every pressure game. I would love if someone won the NFC East with an eight and eight record. It will. That's what is probably going to happen. Actually, it's possible. Oh my god, that'd be great. Didn't but the, the Reds? Didn't seven and nine New York uh, Giants win the Super Bowl once though? I think that was nine and seven. seven. Giants. You sure? Were they? I don't know if I they were was seven, seven and nine. I thought it was a losing record. No. It might be nine and seven. Nine I think it was seven. nine and seven. Yeah, wild nine card seven. still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jesus, fucking. Well, the fucking football cross Niners the board, are. Though. But Jay, the Niners are fucking ten and two, and now we're tied. If the Seahawks beat the Vikings tonight, we're tied with. We're actually in second place in the NFC West because at ten they and have two. The win, yeah. Yeah, because they beat us in that one game, it's and then become... we play the Saints this uh, this Sunday. Yeah, it feels like NBA, and we won't bore people with sports talk too much longer, but the NBA is sort of like dispersed a little bit where there's talent in like a few different, it's not just the same yeah, two cities anymore. It's not historic. I mean, it was like that for the last, what, for a while. Oh, no, what I said, like, this year it seems like they've gotten a little bit, I mean, look, I'm speaking of just the Sixers being like pretty together, but I mean, the Miami Heat are a good team. Uh, the Raptors. The Raptors are still a really good team. The Celtics went all healthy are a really good team. Like there's a lot. There's like five teams. And the West. The West is fun. The Lakers and the yeah. Clippers, Nuggets, yeah. Mavericks are decent. Instead of having really Mavericks stacked teams and, and big threes, you now have big duos. Yeah, right? but a lot you of guys big duos now. Yeah, but I I think you're just saying that because I'm on the opposite end as an NFL fan and I love it. The Niners are ten and two, and there's like a bunch of uh, ten and two teams in the NFL that are really fun to watch. That Ravens I know, it's, game it's was crazy. a lot of fun but to every, watch. But everybody is. I looked at the standings yesterday of cross football, and it's a few teams are now like ten and there's two, like six ten and two, good ten and teams, and then every like most of them, with the exception of uh, what's that, the uh, NFC uh, North. West, NFC West, NFC West. Yeah. The exception of NFC West, for the most part, the top two teams in each division are ten and two, and then like nine, well, or you know, I'm sorry, not even nine two. It's, it's like ten and two and like seven and and six. It's like not very good records. The, yeah, NFC West and the NFC uh, North both have good teams. North, the uh, Packers and Vikings have three losses, and then in the West, the Niners and Seahawks have two losses. The NFC so, East is humiliating. Even with the, the yeah, Cowboys being the best, it's like we're like assholes. Yeah, you guys are we're terrible. six and six is leading the division. Number it's one, the worst, and first and second place. Win, win loss wise, on, yeah, they're both on fucking losing tears. Yeah, win loss wise, it's the worst uh, division in the in the NFL. It's I'm so looking at bad. it right now. Yeah, because at least definitely. the East has the Patriots ten and two. The AFC North has the Ravens ten and two. Man, yeah. that Ravens Niners game was a fun game to Saints, watch. I didn't. And then the Bucks are five and seven right behind them. That's yeah, the I uh, I had a lot of fun watching that game. I watched three quarters of it, then I listened to the fourth quarter of it in the radio on the radio, which was actually kind of fun to listen to. I haven't listened to a football game. In a long time on the radio. Oh, I've listened to a football game a couple times. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty, it's fun, man, and it's also fun to hear completely biased broadcasting because the, Fox, you know how Collinsworth hates the fucking Eagles, and then uh, Joe Buck, or who was the one that I was saying, Booger McFarlane, was just sucking off the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. But it's fun to hear someone that's blatantly being like, I like this team, fuck the other oh, team. Oh, yeah, right like, team, yeah. because yeah. I was listening, and there was like a pass interference play and uh, John Harbaugh challenged it, and they were like, "That's a ridiculous challenge." I was listening to it on KNBR, and they're like, "That's a that's a you think he knows football? And that's a dumb challenge." And I talked to someone who was watching the game. I was talking to my girlfriend, and she's like, "Oh yeah, no, he uh, that was definitely pass interference." Yeah, it's, it's, it's the homers. That's what we did. Merrill Reese is the one for the Eagles. Same thing. It's great, like, just all uh, one dimensional. Me and Christine went to the Eagles game Wednesday night. Sixers. Sixers game, sorry. Sixers Go Birds. Game. Go Birds. Uh, fuck the Birds. Go Sixers. We went to the game on uh, Wednesday night and went down and watched them play the Sacramento Kings. Very fun. It was a, it was a pretty much like walk away win the whole time. Got close here and there. Do you like, enjoy those games? Like, uh, do you enjoy when you know they're just handling a team? Uh, I'd rather that than a loss for sure. Any day of the week, it's, yeah, I'll still have a good time for the buildup of the lead. But once sure. they're kind of coasting on a lead, it's like. It's not as fun, but actually I shouldn't say it's not. As, it's fun, not exciting. 
I wish I would have went to that game on Saturday against the Pacers, where in the last 28 seconds, the Sixers were down by a point, and Ben Simmons yeah. just stole the ball three times and made three plays. It was unbelievable. He, he Reggie Millered it? He's so good. Ben Simmons is no shit, man. Uh, very right, would you say he's your? Would you, would you say he's your number one sports crush? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Joel Embiid's too stank faced, and if I'm being just completely honest, a little too dark for me. Uh, but none, of, none, of the, none of the none of the none of the Eagles. You don't have a nice you don't have a nice caramel cream sickle on the Eagles coming for you. Nice brother, you know. No, until Brian Maybe Dawkins like, dies, he could always catch this dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your all star, your all star sports uh, gay crushes. Don't be doc uh, Jimmy, Jimmy G, dude, what a great one for me to have. Just Jimmy G in the pocket. Man, you also, two, you two leading men heads going in together. A kiss would be so weird. Don't cut each be. other with your sharp chins. And we don't know how to lead, and then we'd we'd be locked together like feral cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Our chins would lock up. Look at those that dashing gay couple over there. Oh my god, they locked horns like rams. <laughs> Um, just sucking face with Jimmy G. No, man, I'm not gay, okay? This is just what guys do. But yeah, the game we went to was fun. Matt Cord brought us... Oh, we had a, a nice head fake. By the way, after the game, we waited around, say hi to... That's the in-house announcer, Matt Cord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were talking to him for a few minutes, just kind of... I was. By the way, when they were like, clearing out the stadium, I was like, oh, I guess we, we should leave if I can't get his attention at all. And then he was saw me. Were you doing the thing where you're trying to catch his eye? Yeah, sort of. But no, I was, I, I was actually like, I was just kind of being in his eye shot. No, I wasn't even looking at him. I was just like being around him. He was did talking you do, to people. Did I you do the two? Him. Did you do the pump fake high? High? Nope. Where you go? No, no, no. When the lady came over and she goes, "Everyone's got to clear from that here." I go, "Okay." I said, "Matt, which one? I'm fine. We have to drive back to New York." I'm like, "I'm like, hey, Matt, I just want to say, uh, good to see you, man." Blah blah. blah. And he uh, and he called us to come down. And then he goes, "You guys want to go in the back?" And I was like. Oh, Shit, here we go. I thought we we're going we to press go. conferences yeah. or whatever room with these guys. And he, it's just like, by the way, it's still cool, but he took us back to the, uh, you know, where you go. I've only done it at the garden. You know, they have like a whole different concessions and stuff for oh, VIP yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he took us back to that area. But it wasn't really like nothing with the players. So I was like, ah, yeah. okay. And we oh, just sort of, cool. Thanks. Just bud. sort of bailed on it. But um, fun game, though. We had a really good time. Ate some yeah, shitty Philly great. food. Got a nice dub. That's, yeah, it's just fun to go down there, watch a team take care of business, get out of there. TCB in a flash. You That's know, why I get a got fucking... primo hoagies. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get it all that. in there. Well, let's find out about the rest of the crews, which I guess all we have left is DJ Lou. DJ Lou? I don't really, um, I don't really have any uh, anything to report, but uh, we went to my brother's bar, the whole family. Hey, for dinner? Yeah. <sighs> Jacob, I'm, I'm okay Jacob with it. just made a noise. He was getting ready to sit alone, all weird, and make turkey Blue. for one. I love it. I love it. I love that you had a Cheers Thanksgiving. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Well, we is usually your dad don't... is your is Will is Will uh, is he Ted Danson or Woody Harrelson? He is the coach. Oh, cool! You were coach. That's cooler. Uh, oh yeah. Well, coach is dead. I'm retired. He's uh, maybe he's Woody. <laughs> maybe he's Woody for a few more years. But yeah, the whole bar was closed down, and they just had uh, they make a free Thanksgiving anyway. So this year they just kind of made it for us. Lou, did you go is to just, a fucking just homeless Spain? people? Did you go to homeless people charity Thanksgiving, Lou? Yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes it was pretty like cool. I, I got to meet local New Jersey celebrities, <laughs> and he goes, wait, they were serving your food, dude. You're in a soup line. He went to a soup line. Oh man! I literally turned my brother's yeah, bar into a soup kitchen. <laughs> he goes, it was pretty, pretty cool. I got to meet one of the ladies. She did a guest starring role on uh, Saved by an Angel. What was it? What was that fucking? What was that one show? Protected by an I'm angel. I remember the name of the girl. I, I have it right there. After, looked after by an angel. Touched by an angel. There it is. Della Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the news. I can take the news right to my face. Give it to me. Oh, God. Mom used to piss on your face and you would sing little songs like you was in the rain. Hey, Dad, you, oh. Dad, you should just jerk off directly into your butthole. Oh. Uh, honestly, that's how you got hungry when you were a kid. <laughs> oh. But here's the weirdest part. You'd ask for it. You loved it so much. It was crazy. <laughs> you would sometimes dad would be in the bathroom and you would come and tap his foot like you were trying to be gay in a public bathroom. I mean you're the only person I heard grown men pedophiles go enough. Yeah. They say that's you enough, would man. 
You would catcall them on their way out the house. Hello, madam. Here's your boy back. He's insatiable. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I don't know if he's solar powered or not, but he just keeps on running. Oh, this kid. He's this like kid's a Rolex. <laughs> oh, are you sure you don't got Spaniard blood in you? This guy can keep going. This boy runs on kinetic energy, does he do? Come on. Is that all you got? <laughs> or a love ball? Or I could take 17 of you at the same time. <laughs> one in me hand. One in me other hand. One oh, in me mouth. I like, I like to ski, pal. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, picturing a bossy little English schoolboy yelling at a bunch of pedophiles <laughs> and what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Walking into the room. Boys, let's see who we're oh. working with. Oh, yeah. God, none of you have got toddry knobs. Line, si line up size order. That's not where you go, Mr. Rogerson. Oh, honky honky. Someone's getting a little excited. <laughs> Your son, I can only describe him as a menace to <laughs> penis. He gets bigger, it does. Just, yeah, I uh, bet. That's the way oh, I yeah. see that. And, and Santa Claus is real. <laughs> this one. <laughs> this guy here. <laughs> He's, listen, Philip, either come or don't. Whoa. I can't sit here, keep wanking you if you're not going to splooge. Hey, close your eyes. Which one's the 14 year old, right? Right? Hey. Right? Miss, miss, I mean to talk to you. Your, <laughs> uh, your son is a lot. He's a mousy He's... lover. I was, a, I was a sailor for over 20 years. I've never <laughs> seen anyone like that. <laughs> He's a noisy lover. <laughs> He's a noisy lover. That's the name of the documentary. Yeah. Who all went, Lou? Uh, my brothers, both my brothers, my sister, my sister's new kid. Sean Fury, a couple of battered wives and their killed children. Uh, <laughs> a Weight, wa a a weight Watchers meeting. A, a guy who thinks he's Ronald Reagan's son. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I am, though. No, yeah. no, no, no. And, of course, Shuffleboard Phil. He's just, like, <laughs> just, 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 just a sad guy. He's like, you can't go to right. Shuffleboard Phil. <laughs> uh, I reserve the table every day at 10 a.m. <laughs> Stupid thing. Yeah, oh, goddamn <laughs> holidays. Oh, then we started gambling at the table at the uh, right. in the yes. middle of the place. On so what? Deadpool's? No, we had, it. No, we had a <laughs> fucking uh, five card uh, poker and uh, hold them. In oh, I, I, I thought you guys were doing picture hunt. Yeah. I thought you were doing for how much money? Photo finder. Photo <laughs> <laughs> for money, <laughs> that's the most white trash thing. Ma, why do you ever. keep picking the naked guys one? <laughs> Stop it! It makes us feel gay. All right, money photo hunt for money. You boys are gay. Look at you. <laughs> you know Ma! I used to have. You know I used to bring you here and strut you around, baby oiled up. <laughs> they find out. <laughs> it's boy night over at Will's bar. <laughs> <laughs> Walk the pigs. It's butted up boy night over at the bar. <laughs> don't worry. They use I can't believe it's not butter. It's a silent auction, so you don't have to look like a creep or nothing. <laughs> you just gotta write your name down. How did much you guys play been? dice or did you guys play cards? Cards. Who all nice. was it? You, your brother. My mom, uh, my aunt, um Multiple aunts? Some yeah, multiple aunts, uh, some cousins. No. At what point was smoking allowed inside? Uh didn't come to that, but it was close. Oh, got close. I knew it was. Uh, how many times it, who motioned to have that? Yeah, absolutely. Go. I can go outside, or yeah, yeah. or. Would you have to go? Well, the smell's gonna be out by. Come on, it'll be out by tomorrow. <laughs> when are you guys opening tomorrow? Ten a.m. You dude, guys close at four. That six this hours. Bitch, shut up. I'm. You don't smoking. know, dude. Oak absorbs smell. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Coming out. Coming out in bar science? No arguments? No fights, Lou? No. Everything was pretty cool. Fantastic night? Did yeah, you get too right. drunk? Do you don't remember part of it? No, I do. Remember it all? Nice. Did you get ass? No, there's no ass to speak of. No Thanksgiving ass? Well, I don't know. You can always hop in an Uber and see what happens. Mm, sure, that's... <laughs> yeah, roll the dice. How'd that go? Where are we at on that? <laughs> uh, you guys shame, shamed me out of it, so now I'm not going to call Why do we shame you out of it? Uh, I'm sorry. My, my friends at the bar shamed me out of it. You guys were fine. We, was he your friend I mean, the bar? we talked about it. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was a cool hookup story. No, but I she, thought it was true love. She sent me a picture of her, and uh, the guys were right. She was pretty damn big. Dude, please let me see the picture. Uh, Wait, you have I, a full body pic? I please. think I deleted it, but I'll, ch I'll uh, check. No, you didn't. I'll check for the No, nah, you tried to jerk on it and see if you could. You can't jerk to it. Could I do it? Can I do it? 
Oh my God! Look at that landing! Look at that jizz landing patch. He calls it back. <laughs> I'm joking. I, no I want to send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. He doesn't. He's looking for it. I look for it. You have to have it, dude. All right. Well, that's my white trash Thanksgiving. Wait to close the show. I want to see this big, uh, this big Uber driver. Um, that you're not going to call. You told her to do a radio show. You told her when it's on and when to listen. You were afraid she would hear you talk about her, and now you said your friends are right. She's too big. I'm never calling her. <laughs> I yeah. hope they. I hope they put down the ice melt on her street as she's driving Ubers today. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's just listening. She's going this motherfucker. I'm gonna pull up. She's. You go outside. She's just waiting for Lou. <laughs> Lewis. All right, here we go. Lewis. Oh I got, yeah, I got it. Let's see. Uh, give me your honest opinion of what you think. Let's take a look. See here. Mm. <clears throat> show, show me, Jay. I will, and I'll tell you what. Sure, she's a thick love? girl, but I think you should. I think you should call her. What did I love? Some those people. <laughs> what did I love? <laughs> oh yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> she's all right. She's not, dude. She's not big. She's not that. I, thought, big I, at I all. swear, when you said that, dude, you're like, she's pretty. I, I thought she was gonna be way bigger than that. She's not. Your what friends are Jersey assholes. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Call this girl. Or, ra- or just straight up racist. They're like, nah, man. Well, no, no, no. no. Dude, she's wearing a one-piece Adidas fucking track suit. Love Hell it. yeah, man. Yeah. With a leopard print jacket? Get it, girl. I Jay- bet she shaves her pussy though, and it's got a lot of marks on it. You, you know think what it's I mean? stuffed up? Yeah. Damn, damn. Yeah. I think a lot of, like, <laughs> old scab white. Jesus. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> When those black Got hairs grow, when those black hairs go and grown, Black Lou, tell them it's a whole thing. I mean, I've never seen that down there on a black woman personally, but I know from my face, yeah. You are not googling the right things. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> pussy marks, black women pussy marks. Yeah, um, Lou, do it. Yeah, dude, go on a date with her. Come on, she's cute. She, I'm, I'm gonna zoom in on that face. I can't. I've moved on. What? It's over. There's already somebody else. Yeah, I've had. Uh, oh, dude, she's cute. Come on, dude. I've had three dates with somebody else. It's, Ooh. Is she black? She's something. What does that mean? What does that mean? Not white. Oh, wait. She's half white and half uh, Spanish. Look at you bright-siding it. <laughs> <laughs> she's half Spanish? Yeah. Which half? Just the good half. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. They're like the mom, dad. Uh, Mom. Oh, that's good. So she's pretty Hispanic then. Yeah, dad is Italian. Wow, well, he probably hates that Hispanic part, huh? Um, have you Yo fungo. That's a lot of that's a lot of talking with your hands. These chili peppers, oh, hey. the thing in the If thing. you get an argument, people from blocks away are gonna know. <laughs> yeah. Italian and Spanish hand movement? Yikes. You like her. She's not big, I guess. It's not about that. Well, why was it about that? Lou the, doesn't like big chicks? girls. Wow. Even black Lou made a face with that one. Only it only matters for black chicks if they're heavy or not. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, uh, huh. Black Lou's making a face by way looking at ingrown pussy hairs, right? Is that what you're looking up, Lou? Yeah, he is. Ingrown pussy hairs. <laughs> yeah. What are you seeing there, Lou? I like, I like that part of the studio. Harsh like reality? Dermatology. It's like a dermatology office. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Um, you're getting serious or something in three dates? I don't want to say anymore because I think she might listen. How you do all the women you date have serious subscriptions? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would it, imagine are, are, some of them. I'd imagine some of them YouTube it. The ones I respect. <laughs> did you meet on social media? Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. So she listens to the show for sure. I don't she think she slide has your it. DMs. She she's not dumb. She'll find it. I didn't say she was dumb, but you met her on social media through the show. Yeah, yeah, but I think she's listening to the YouTube uh, clips and shit. Hey, what's up, girl? It's a day in the future. My hey, name's Dan. I can't believe you and Lou fucked already. Whoa! By the way, even if you, you haven't got... yet, that still gives you a couple days. Yeah, I can't believe you let him do do toe stuff to you with his wiener. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> you like getting toe fucked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe you let him back kneecap your I'll be fucking you. leg. If you put fucking some dude's like half hard dick between my toes, <laughs> it would make me give up government secrets. <laughs> uh, the thing that texture meat. is making my blood go so cold like <laughs> fucking half hard wiener between my fucking yeah. little toe and toe next to it get the fuck oh. out of here I hate uh, it the, dick, by the way oh my god I'm to find out my mom used to let her friends gang bang me <laughs> look at my dick dude it's like rock hard right now I know just put it between my toes and give me the money 
Just him him slowly pressing his dick, toe raping you, just putting Ugh. it in that crevice. Yeah, and not even Ugh. like going in like head first, not like fucking the toe. No, even, like, sliding, sliding it, it in the side, like, <laughs> mid, like middle dick between my toes, <laughs> cutting it. Like oh man, just. Putting and I'll tell you what would be worse: feel a nutbag on the top of my foot if he's coming from the top. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the bridge of your foot. Oh, nutbag on those on the, on those uh those fucking phalanges, those little fucking, yeah. <laughs> those bones would you let that him, go out. Would you let would you let them KY in between your toes? Oh to yeah, slip in? yeah. No, I want it to slip through for sure. I don't want to get <laughs> wanna, in this thing at all. Yeah. You don't want a dry toe rape? No, no. I don't want to feel like his dick skin moving in tandem with my toes, <laughs> pulling your skin. No, because it won't. It went to KY because I want it to slide over it. I don't want to. What I'll do wow. instead. We'll be fucking grabbing it with like a fucking hook. Guess what? Dude? And then like, and then, and, and then you're dragging skin with you. He might come on your foot. If you come for these toes, get ready to get athlete's foot on your dick. Oh yeah. yeah. You're just gonna let it go. You're just gonna go you catch my shoes for a while. You catch me in the summer months itching my toes, and you try to fuck these feet. You're gonna catch it. I'll tell you this with my regiment between uh, Tanact and. Uh, Tea tree oil with all the things I do to take care of my, my stuff. Yeah. Tea tree oil when with all those things. When you set it on the air, I use it every day. My toe webbing. What are you, wait, my do toe you webbing right now. Extremely yeah. fuckable. Tea. Oh, no, man, no, no, I you bet, rub tea tree I bet, oil between your toes, Dan. Really? Yeah. 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 I bet. It, I bet I'd bust quick if I went in between your toes. I bet I'd bust the <laughs> Me like for three sure. Puss. Oh yeah, you like a shaved puss too. So yeah, you'd like. Dude, if thing. I fuck, if I felt all soft, I'd be like, "Fucking Jay, I'm gonna lose it. I'm Dude, gonna lose it on your shin. And not I'm only lose it, it all over your knee and shin. Not only is it soft and lubed, but it's also." Webbing between toes, dude. Like also, it's like getting jerked off with bat wings. <laughs> Do you feel like uh, if you went the reverse and my ball sack hit the bottom of your feet, it would tickle? Yeah. I do. I think I would yeah. jump. My my upper body would jump. Like, Ooh, no, 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 no. You got you to put your nuts you up the on the slow, top. If you got the slow fucking, you know. Here's like, what I want to do. It. I, want, I want to be sitting in a chair like I am right now. Yeah. yeah. And then a guy, I'll put out my one foot, like my right foot, we'll say, out straight. Yeah, sure. We'll put it on something, you know, give it some sort of a, yeah. a holder thing. Yeah, probably only on the fucking, you want to do it on the bottom of the palm. Yeah. Just so you have a lot of room to fuck. What do you mean? In case you want to rub, in case you want to rub the hand. No, no, no. Fuck the no, here's what. No, 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 my hand. We're yeah, yeah. my foot. So my foot's yeah, out. Yeah, sorry. Ankle. So you want to put it on the bottom of the ankle. Yeah, and then a per, and then a guy. This is the best way to do it, I think. Will straddle my leg that's out, and fuck it from the oh, top. Oh, so, so ball sack see, goes on top. All I see is butt cheek, at most. You want you want reverse from, cowgirl from, toe fuck. Yeah. You want a reverse cowgirl. Yeah, hit from the back, but away from me if you could. Yeah, see, I want balls. Way. I want balls for me. I want balls on the bottom of my feet. I'll, and I, I feel like I could. I feel like I could also really fucking push back that way. You know what I mean? Like foot press. I don't. There's no way to to bridge this. I mean, I'm not going to say the person's name. It doesn't matter. But just one of the funniest things this weekend, and I sh I sent it to you, Dan. So yeah. You know what I'm talking about already. I mean, how many laughs have you had at that already? We just I mean, know somebody who took a picture of somebody else we know. Nothing. This is a picture that should not have been pornographic in any way whatsoever. Just took a picture of a man from the back urinating in a urinal. The same view, I, same angle I had on you, uh, Black Lou, for the when you were peeing at dancing. Yeah, and, which we tweeted out. Yeah, which we tweeted out. You could totally tweet it out. It's because this. I mean, you could tweet out porn. This particular Instagram comic would be the real test. This particular comic, who may be in this building from time to time, uh, we found out peas like butters from south park pants down <laughs> to the knees and i'm gonna pass it around the room dad oh. it's gonna make everybody so hey, happy so funny though what a funny way to pee it is a it's the it's the best comic way oh, I gotta to pee. Tell, i gotta tell him who it is though damn it you don't think we I can guess see? you don't think we can guess by the took us you will not guess by the ass no should we take our last break and then come yeah. back yeah, yeah yeah i'll do some live and then we'll do also sure. the other thing yeah yeah and we also want to talk about the uh, the thing we were going to talk about at the beginning of the show. Outfits. You yeah, got it, dude, buddy. Fashion. Dan, I, I miss you fashion. so much. I miss you too. You know what? I got to shield up because I miss you guys. Shields up. I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you cross country belly kisses right now. <laughs> 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 Initiating the secret Corey handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberries on my tummy. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Dan Soder's in Los Angeles, but this is still the bonfire. <laughs> I miss you. Why don't we move that, move that picture, Christine? 
I miss you so Why don't we just much. touch each other or something? <laughs> Come on, I'm like rock hard, man. It's just what guys do. Come on, man. This is just what guys do. It's not mm. gay. Mm, baby I'm boy, so hard. I miss I'm so hard you. right now. Um, you look so <laughs> nice. Nice. That picture you just had up there, Christine, if you could put it back up now. Is, uh, <laughs> well, it's uh, good friends of uh, the show. Uh, yeah. Amazing people. They worked at the stand with us. They're just friends, fans. I mean, people that have been with us with Skankfest and the stand and yeah. the creek. And two of the best, some of the best people on fucking earth. Yeah. Um, the Murrays, of course, Brian and Jessica Murray, who are dear friends of ours, and Jessica's mother is in a battle right now with stage four lung cancer, which, you know, there's no way to jazz that up with funny. That just sucks. So uh, yeah. if you could help at all, they are need, looking for a little financial help here in this time. We're going to tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. Yeah, it's uh, a... What's, what's it, GoFundMe what, Christine? GoFundMe.com slash... Sorry, I'm trying to... I was going to tweet the direct link. Yeah, you can, though. Yeah, um, tweet it. Sl- Get nuts. GoFundMe.com slash F slash cards... Dealt for Lee. Cards dealt for L E E? Yeah, F O R L E E. GoFundMe.com slash F slash C A R D S D E A L T F O R L E E. Her name's Lee. I mean, cancer <laughs> and all. Cancer aside. Nice name, by the way. <laughs> Lee. Badass. Lee? You like the name Lee? I took the shields down around the studio, Jay. I'm watching the sunset in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, is it going down? Yeah, it's All beautiful. Life. 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 We got to do a live show here, dude. Yeah. It's February. Let's come out here and do live shows. Like an actual live show at the Comedy Store, and then let's do like shows. So we have to do a live show. We can do that. that I'm saying we should around. do both. We should also do one down in the fishbowl yeah, here. The fishbowl there is so good. I'm, but I'm saying we can do like Monday, Wednesday down in the fishbowl, and then like live Tuesday. You know I what agree. I mean? I agree with all these things. But of course, we need, yeah. our, we need our crack crew out there. No, I'm talking about full go, dude. We're not we're not jazzing it up with just three of us. I mean, I'm talking the Luz, Jacob, us. I would even bring fucking Merkface. Bring Shane Gillis out here. Let's get fucking nuts. I'm not dicking the fuck around with this anymore. I'm sorry. I got wound up for nothing. It's okay. You get it. You got hyped. <laughs> I'm but, sorry. I like I, I, but I like it. Cool. I like it. Cool. But I like it. I like it. Um, You're a pushy little fella, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, to yeah, bring up the picture, yeah, if you the help, picture we were talking about, which I thought you were going to bring. Oh, yeah, we're going to tweet we'll out the link. So, the help race. out if you can. If you, you know, if you have anything to give, I'm sure it all helps. And uh, they really are just like the sweetest people. Yeah. So, uh, if you could always been so send supportive. a little something to make anything. Uh, yeah, and Jess has been taking care of her mother, which is probably yeah, which probably the affecting work. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're, I'm sure they're going through a rough time. They're, uh, they are. They're the sweetest. They're featured on. Uh, my first comedy uh, crowd work album. I mean, when I needed, we needed people for Ha unrehearsed, and they just said they would do it and got on stage yeah. as background for Ha at the first Skank Fest. They're just great. So yeah, if yeah. you could if you could help them at all, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I say if you could help Jessica's mother, I'm not going to tell you to help Lee. Nobody helps Lee, but everyone yeah, helps Jessica's, Jessica's mom. Mother. Jessica's mom's the sweetest. Lee Lee sounds like a crabby lady. <laughs> I'm sure most Lees I know. I don't know many Lee women. It's usually guy Lee. All right, one of my friend that I worked at at uh, when I worked at KFMA. Shout out to KFMA Day. When I worked at KFMA at Arizona Lotus, my friend Lee was was fun, and she was a lady. We smoked a lot of weed together. As I feel, if your name is Lee and you're a girl, if your name is Lee and you're a girl, you can roll tubes. You were born. (laughs) You were born at 44 years old. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, you came, you came out. Yeah, you just kind of came out being like, "What's up? I know the world." Just ripping Winston's. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Faux show. Now back to the picture you brought up before we took a break. Mm-hmm. The hilarious pee pick. The pee. Oh, Are we yeah. done with it? Yeah. Do we want to move did on to show, style? Did you, did you see it? Yeah. Incredible. That's past the knees. That's at the ankles. At the shins. <laughs> yeah. it's, the, it's, it's shins it's for shins. sure. It's, it's the funniest way to pee. Come on. How funny is that? Straight. To pick so your to pick funny. your shirt up and your pants down, and I said what was funny when he came out. Hello, Mister Weiner. What do you know? Do out. you need to tinkle? <laughs> yes, I believe so. Please believe that so. butter song. Yeah. yeah. Um, when he came out, Sean Patton, uh, who's the one who acknowledged this happening at all, my first thing I said was, <laughs> "I remember the name of the kid who did that." <laughs> in grade school when you go into the bathroom you, in grade school and you'd find one kid doing that and then he would yeah. be harassed out of doing it 
Um, oh, when you show full butt at the urinal? Yeah, it was Adam Ron. Adam Ron was our kid who, uh, good friend. I didn't make fun of him for it. I was friends with Adam. Um, I was friends with a lot of the people that were picked on, as myself, I'm sure, as well, was picked on to some degree. I was just big. I was always yeah. big. So that's why the reason I didn't, I didn't feel too picked on. Yeah, because you, know I mean? you were you could beat the shit out of kids at a certain age. But but this is that but this is all younger. That's also my point again. By the way, this is young. This is at a time where it maybe just took one of us to be like, "Hey, dude, you don't pull your pants down to your ankles, take a piss." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh shit, that. is that not the thing? Oh okay." And like, and like <laughs> fix it may have fixed it that day. I don't remember. Do you know what I mean? Or him yeah. getting made fun of for it may have corrected the problem. This we're talking about is I'm guessing a late thirties. Yeah, this person. That's you know your, what it is, Jake? That's in your middle age. I can't guess from the. Go over and Black Lou will tell you in your ear. You know what it is, Black Lou, right? And you know DJ Lou, right? I, I didn't get it. My phone sucks, Cox. Oh, well, then oh. DJ Lou or Black Lou's got to tell you. You got just by looking at it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at guessing say people's asses. Microphone. I can guess it. I yeah, bet you I'll get it. Turn off your yeah. mics. That's right. That's so funny. Yeah, that's Let me right. Let me so funny. Maybe a little this less. Is a funny way to peep. Hey, Jacob. Maybe a few less ad reads and a little more social uh, courtesy on taking a piss in public. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know how that is. Uh, Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Just by just by the butt. Mouth it. Well, first of all, it's hilarious. You said, Jesus Christ, it's not Jared. (laughs) Yeah, it's not Jared Freed. But man, you fucking. That doesn't even go with the clues I've made. I mean, my God, Whitsky. How have you. I could never tell you a secret. You just mouthed out loud who it was. Yeah. He said, he goes, oh, is that Jared? Even the way you talked was a breathy whisper. Is that Jared Freed? My mic was off. You would not have heard it, but my mic. Your mother sent you off to get gang. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know what happened. What's the worst possible thing that happened? Give it to me straight, to Nigel. Your... Give it to me straight. Do not Yo, pull punches. You, you used to pull your underpants down <laughs> past your buttocks to pee. <laughs> oh, I no. want to. No. It was a. Uh... It's the one of the. Fun... I saw that picture. It started making me cackle. But did you have a kid in your school, Dan? Yes, of course. The, the Who picture, showed butt? The, the full ass. Here's here's the thing. If you show if you were showing butt while at the urinal in the middle school, you got checked for it fucking quick. Like sixth grade, they're like, "Stop pulling your butt out, weirdo." Uh, I mean, I I would almost say that's an open target for you to give him a wet willy in the butthole. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, this is this what adults we're talking about? A finger's going in that butthole. You're not if I know you guy, well enough, you're not gonna get that kind of play with kids. That's still that's supposed to stop happening. The ass out. You tell them who it was now. You yeah. know what it is? Yeah, it oh, God, I thought he was going to mouth the word again. <laughs> is it? That's how it's out. The kid who pees with their ass out is, uh, it, it shouldn't go more than than one time. Do you know what I mean? Like, but, you oh, in public. Around, yeah, you feel around you if the heat's coming I think down. the immediate reaction to that is usually like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I yeah, decide to do it at home. He goes, all right. Mouth, you weirdo. He goes, you want me to desk yeah. in your ass crack, too? Oh, but I'm saying, but that's, an, that's supposed to stop happening, pissing with your pants down like that. At an age where, like, it, 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 you you find out on your own. Do you know what I mean? Like, exactly. Yeah. We, yeah. At school, whatever that age was where the kid came in there with his pants down. Yeah. You correct that. This is children going to a schoolyard making fun of each other. I, this is an adult in a comedy club. I say child. An adult in the comedy club peeing like that it's at crazy. a urinal. It's, it's pretty funny. It's, it's stuck with me since I saw the whole picture. It's cr- it blows yeah. my mind. It's I'm like, great. that's crazy. Yeah, it's very, very funny. The, the picture was taken and whatever, but it's more than that, that like, he did. He, he said it at one point, like, I didn't think anybody else was, was in there, but it's a public bathroom with multiple stalls, multiple <laughs> toilets. You'd think somebody could definitely come in. You're still like, well, that's, then they're going to walk in on that. I mean, that's I, one of those, I, I if you have the right angle and you're not a woman walking by the bathroom and a guy does, I mean, like, you must see guys... Up on the urinals constantly. If women just kind of peek over for a second, <gasps> oh, I thought that was I thought that was real. <laughs> I thought that was real, dude. What that was that a drop? That's Christine, yeah. <gasps> oh man, I thought that was real. I was like, oh, oh Christine, fuck, Christine, shock. Peek over this. Does this look big? <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christine, can I show it. you my Christine? Can I show you my poop art that I'm making? Look at this picture. Oh, I know. She is easily an impressed. artist rendition. I'll be honest. That's not the best shit painting I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. I do shit one. finger paints. Um, 
<clears throat> we got five minutes left. Should we wait to talk about the? Let's wait to talk yeah, about the thing. We talk about outfits. It's a funny we'll idea. Tomorrow. It's a funny. It brings. It, 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 there might be different racial answers to this. It's a big. It's a big thing. Know. My outfits talk, but uh, pissing with your pants down. I can't believe an adult. I can't believe an adult does that. Is look up online. Is there's a, a, a pictures of that oh, yeah. happening? A lot of guys really their pants down. Adults. That's nuts. Men peeing with their pants past their butts. And then, just for, you know, whatever, while you're looking at it, you look at girls peeing outside, too. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. That'd be a fun... That's a fun... I might... Let's start doing that. Maybe oh this guy... God. Maybe this yeah. guy is leading a new movement. Buddy, it happens. Maybe this guy's leading a new movement, and we just need to be a part of it. Me and maybe you... Maybe we should start peeing with our pants down past our butts. Buddy, I'll me... I'll try doing it in L.A. I'll bring it to the West Coast. There's got to be some sort of a challenge amongst our crew. The guys, to obviously. See who, who can do it the most. No, no, no. A challenge mother crew that the loser for six months in serious XM bathrooms has to pee like that. <laughs> I would love that. Like you just because of how the urinals, yeah, just because how the urinals are. Do that. You wouldn't? Yeah, you would. Dude, well, Jacob, you, you better, got the you best took us. You better win this challenge. Yeah, you got the best took us out of all of us. I couldn't do enough squats to, to do that. I don't have the nerve. That's the whole idea. It's supposed to be funny with your ass up against the urinal. He has to make about, a duty. How about loser has to sit down and pee in the urinal? Would you rather do that? Would you rather make contact with your ass oh. in the urinal? Oh, that cold porcelain. Yeah, I have so many defeatist, rules. I got a... Your defeatist attitude already, though. So much. Like, you are already lost the contest. What if the contest yeah, you, is like I'm running? You're going to win. I don't yeah, be you eored us. Huh? I don't want to no, be in I this won't. one. I had too many bathroom hang-ups, I guess. Well, now I guess we can't have Black Luke because he can't get that close to the toilet bowl. Because of his huge dick. <laughs> yeah. His pants are around his ankles. Floor. His pants are around his ankles. His ass is up against the stall of the of the toilet behind him. <laughs> his dick's so big he's just pissing on his ankles through his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I usually need my pants to keep my dick up. <laughs> I, I feel like if it's I peed like that... If he pulls his pants too low, his dick falls down too far. I feel like if I peed like that, <laughs> someone would walk in and immediately know I'd tense up because my butt cheeks would clench. My, yeah, my friend who works in like a business uh, financial thing. Uh, mm -hmm. That's where you should do it if you're wearing a suit. He, he walked into this, to this, uh, to a bathroom restroom, and there was a guy in a suit with his pants all the way down, like you're describing, <laughs> like a businessman. I would uh, high up in the company, and he, he didn't goes, know what guys, to do. Guys, the uh, the Mercer deal went through. I gotta take a quick piss. <laughs> He's just I would going. guess that like. I would guess it's actually much easier to piss all over your pants if you pull them down like that versus pulling your dick out of like... By the way, I don't pull just out of my fly or the hole in my underwear. I undo my belt generally, and then my pants are generally loose enough to kind of like pull my pants and underwear down. Like just below my dick. It still covers my ass completely. Hey, Tex, how you ever, doing? <laughs> I don't ever full up, butt. I don't ever, I don't ever full butt pee ever. I, I couldn't possibly. What? You have to wrap. We have to wrap up. Now? Oh yeah, there's for Dan. Yeah, because there's like sorry about that. Yeah, there's like six Except people in the studio oh. looking at me, waiting to finish. I was to say, why are you gonna let us go watch you piss with your pants down all the way? <laughs> if you wrap, yeah, early. Goes, guys, right. let's we'll do wrap this wrap right now. Early. Um, Dan Soder's new special, Son of a Gary, premiering on HBO December seventh, ten p.m. You know, it's already in your DVRs. It better if it's not, oh. go do it right now. Tell me a better time than right now to get and that. If you're in Boston. If you're in Boston, go see Big J this Thursday through Saturday, the 5th through the 7th at Laugh Boston. Then December 19th through the 21st, he's going to be at the Comedy Connection in Providence, Rhode Island. San Jose, Big J's coming December 27th through the 29th. BigJComedy.com for tickets. And make sure you get tickets to The Worst tomorrow night at the stand. Bennington, Yamanika, Stavros, unbelievable show. We love you. CC.com slash bonfire. I got to leave. Oh, and There's so many people in the so other Dan, studio. Dan, you leave. Please check out my Instagram. I'm putting I love up crowd work and stuff. I Instagram. Love you, Dan. See you tomorrow. Instagram. Make, make Big J an Instagram model. Let's make get an Instagram model. <laughs> love you, Dan. Bye.